Hey, what's going on? Thank you for tuning in to the Vera Wells Fitness. I'm the Vera Wells, AKA AJ. All right, so many of you have been asking about some of the calisthenic workouts that I do. So today, the calisthenic workout is gonna be the L-SIP push-up using paralletics. You could also use dumbbells, but I prefer paralletics, and if you wanna know where to get them, check them out on Amazon or roguefitness.com. I'll put the description in the bio and a link of where you can get them at. All right, so let's go ahead and jump into this workout. I'm gonna go ahead and break it down in baby steps, but I'm gonna show you from the very basic steps to the most advanced. All right, so let's go. All right, so first off, uh, these are the bars. They're called parallettes or paralytics. Like I said, you could also use dumbbells. I mean, dumbbells are a little bit harder, uh, but honestly, like I said, invest in yourself and a good, nice little home gym or calisthenics if that's what you're trying to learn. You know what I'm saying? $50 to $80 dollars could get something like this. So I definitely would just invest in and get in yourself. I'm gonna show you the full workout that you're trying to achieve. The full motion is gonna be or some of you are watching like that season so if you want to learn any one of the breakdown steps to achieve this workout I'm gonna go ahead and break those down for you the first step of this workout is gonna be the push-up portion so you're gonna get yourself in a push-up position and go down up down repeat about 10 reps of those. They're elevated so they're going to be easier than a normal push-up so you want to make sure you get a good range of motion uh, get your chest to about the bar height. I do recommend stretching before workouts like these because there's a lot of pressure on your chest and shoulder area so you don't want to pull anything so it's always good to stretch and uh, keep your body safe. push-ups down the next part is going to be swinging your legs through so what you're going to do is from a push-up position start up keep your arms locked out and then you're going to use a little bit of momentum to hop up and swing your legs forward planting your heels on the ground see how my arms are still locked legs straight and then what you're going to do same thing gather a little momentum if you want to bend your knees so you can get a little hop, or you can just swing your legs back into a push-up position, then back forward. Once you got that motion down, now we're gonna add the push-up portion. So now you're gonna do the same, same thing. Push-up position, you're gonna go forward, heels on the ground, back, and then push up, forward, heels on the ground, back, push up. If that's easy to you, there's no point to do the 10 reps. If it's too easy and you wanna to get to the next step and just try the more complex version, then keep going. You don't gotta burn yourself out trying to do that. Now if you struggle with that and the next step is too hard, then just stay with that motion and do about 10 reps and do repetitive motions. Over time, the strength and stability will come. So now that you've got the push-up motion, now what we're gonna do, we're actually gonna take, we're gonna try to take, putting the heels on the ground. So swing them out, swing them back. To lock your arms out, you can just start in a squatting position, lock your arms out, and what you wanna do is just use a little bounce, tip your feet forward, and bring them right back. So you're gonna, and back. So what you see what I'm doing here is I'm hopping up into a swing motion. I'm allowing my legs to swing forward into an L. Then I'm bringing them back. You just want to get that motion down. So you're going to hop out and just flick. If you want to hold it, it's hard. But what you're trying to do is get the motion, engage your core, activate a lot of fast twitch muscles. Hop up. Out, back, hop up, flip out, 
Now, once you got those motions down, you'll be ready for the next step. We're gonna go into a push-up position. Same concept. This time, instead of starting from here, with the push-up position, you wanna use your court to give you a little bit of bounce. Or you can just swing all the way through. So what I'm doing is, I'm gonna lock my arms up, and all the pressure is on the bar. I'm applying all my pressure down, and then I'm gonna let my body swing through Flick out, come back. So swing through, come back. Let's repeat those motions. That's, if you struggle to get one or two of those, just practice. So go down to the step before, start working on sets of 10, repetitive motion and consistency with these workouts, eventually the strength will come and it will be nothing, it will be automatic. So the full workout, now we're just gonna add the push-up portion. So what you're gonna do, push-up position, same, same mechanics as the last step, Take your legs out, back, push-up. Push-up. watch my video I do it that's more isolated and that's a slowed down version and that's actually me being strict about my form you see me post my videos what I do is I combine the steps so a lot of time you won't see me strict landing and then pushing up it'll be a more of a combination of me coming back automatically down let's go forward and come back down to a push up then up Now that you've got the basic Elson push-up, another step is to take your feet out completely. I call these ones core swings. Don't know if there's a real name for them. Just gonna swing through, swing back. That's more advanced, that's a little extra. Once you get the Elson push-up down and you can do it repeat repeatedly, you'll see that eventually it's all about building the core strength and the upper body strength to complete the workouts. All right, so thank you for tuning into the Vera Wells Fitness. Um, I definitely appreciate you guys viewing this video. I hope that it was informative and I hope that it will help you with your calisthenic journey and maybe give you some ideas that you could do with paralytics or more home workouts. I uh, definitely have way more videos to come, so keep watching. Uh, feel free to like and or dislike this video or leave your comments on something that you would like for me to show you or any critiques and comments. Whatever. So definitely, I appreciate you guys tuning in. You all have a nice day.